Live, local, late breaking. WPBF 25 News at 9. The Land for Feet tank, it's back. I know you remember it. We're going to hear a pitch from a local high school student about her campaign. It is called Drop the Vape. So we're less than a month away from this year's big philanthropy tank finals. Now, this is the program that gives local students, we're talking Palm Beach County students, an opportunity to pitch their great idea out to the public and potentially get the funding and also the guidance to make that idea a reality. And this year's finalists have been announced, which is super exciting. We've got 15 teenagers right here. They're from our local schools and they're representing six fantastic ideas. And we want to give them all a chance to share those ideas before the big final pitch, too. So joining me live this morning is one of those finalists, Tessie Gorin. Tessie, thank you so much for joining us. She goes to Wellington Community High School. She's a student there, a sophomore. Tessie, first, tell me about your project. It's called Drop the Vape. What's it all about? Hi, so thank you so much for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Um, my project, Drop the Vape, is a vape prevention focused project that aims to decrease the number of teen vape users here in Palm Beach County. So I hope to accomplish this in three different approaches, which are education, support, and advocacy. All right, Tessie, what were you seeing? So, so you saw a lot of this firsthand in your schools and that, that's what gave you the idea. What, what, what were you seeing there on the ground that really surprised you? So inspiration for this project did come from some personal experiences I've had attending both middle and high schools in Palm Beach County. I've witnessed uh, students vaping in the bathrooms more times than I can count and never really understood why vaping was used as a coping mechanism. But once I became a little bit more educated about drug prevention overall, I kind of developed a new passion for it. And that's where the idea for Drop the Vape sparked from. All right, now you mentioned it. This is a three-pronged approach to this. Go into more detail on uh, what those three approaches are. So the first one is education. This will involve implementing a new informational course that surrounds the dangers of vaping and will be delivered by teen volunteers to students that are caught vaping or with vape paraphernalia on campus. The second is a support mechanism. It is a two-way text to quit program that will offer relevant resources and motivation for students that are already on their journey to quitting vape use. And then finally, through advocacy and work with community partners, we hope to establish a new policy that will increase the distance between vape shops and schools in order to make vape products a little bit less accessible to teens in our County. Now, you're very close to pitching this to investors. The goal is to hopefully get that $15,000 so you could really do a lot with this and make this a reality. What would you do with that money if you were awarded it as soon as today? What would be your first goal? So although the funding and gaining monetary support needed to implement the project will mainly be allocated to um, advertising and marketing for especially the support prong of our project, uh, the two-way text equip program is kind of the easiest way for schools to get involved in piloting our project. So we hope to allocate a lot of the, mo the monetary support towards that. However, Philanthropy Tank has also offered a ton of mentorship and guidance through local leaders, the coaches and employees at Philanthropy Tank have really helped um, provide assistance and guidance in motivating me to launch the project and really help it reach its goals in the future. And dream big, what would be your ultimate goal for this? If this really took off and it sounds like it's got everything it can to really make that happen, where would you love to see this in the next five, 10 years as it continues to grow? I would love to see Drop the Vape um, kind of sprout out, not just through Palm Beach County, but other counties in Florida, and even thinking even bigger, um, all over the country, vaping isn't just a problem in Florida. It is something that teens deal with all across the nation. So obviously we're starting small right now, um, but hopefully if more traction gains and the project is successful in our county, I hope that we can implement a similar type of project in other counties across the nation. Well, it's a big, big issue right now, and it sounds like you have a great solution for it. Good luck. Good luck with the investors as well. Keep us up to date with everything and hope you do really well in the entire program. Thank so you. You, can, you got it. You can watch the finals, and you can watch Tessie on April 11th at 7 p.m. on uh, Philanthropy Tank's social media pages. And, of course, we'll let you know in this newscast how everyone does as well. April 11th, that's happening.